Hey guys, it's Haley Kyoko, and this is the playlist of my life. I feel very vulnerable about this because I feel like sharing the playlist of your life is like really sharing yourself. Track number one. Hide and Seek by Imogen Heap. I saw her perform at the Will Turn and she like had all of her like gadgets and you know she does everything herself and the vocoder and she had like flowers in her hair and fake flowers everywhere and I just remember being like oh my gosh this is what I want to do and like how cool is it that she like creates her own music and does it live. Also is an important song to me because I did a beautiful interpretive dance to it in ninth grade with my friends on New Year's Eve. We danced to it like going down the stairs and it was really dramatic and beautiful and should never be shown ever. It kind of kind of went something like this. You know what I mean? Started like that. Maybe like this. It was very sensual, you know, lots of this stuff. Where are we? What the hell is going? What the hell is going on? I did like multiple dances to that song actually. I think I did one in high school like with my dance team and I was like bossing everyone around which is you know what I do. Track number two, Swing Swing. I started a band because of the All-American Rejects. I was like, oh my gosh, I want to be them. They were just so cool and so I created business cards and the band was called, and don't steal it, the minors and the F majors. And I thought it was like really cute cause like the minors and then like, cause I'm, you know, a minority. And then the F majors like getting like F's, I don't know, I thought it was really witty. And I created business cards and I had nobody in my band, but I had business cards for my band to play multiple venues. We never did. And uh, Swing Swing was the beginning of that. I probably still don't know the correct lyrics to the song, but I would always sing like, swing, swing from the tangles of my heart is crushed. Oh, I think that's right. But I'd always sing like the wrong lyrics and um, that's just who I am. Complicated by Avril Lavigne. I wore um, dicky pants, a chop at Hot Topic, had like a checkered belt, a tie, basically thought I was Avril Lavigne. I just love that song so much because why do you make things so complicated? You know, like why? I wanted to be like a version of Avril Lavigne when I grew up, so here I am, not looking anything like Avril Lavigne. Growing up listening to music because, I mean, I knew I liked girls, but no one else did. Every song was like my queer anthem because I would be like, why you had to go and make things so complicated? Yeah, yeah. Why you had to go and make things so and it'd like always be like about some girl that like I didn't even know at the mall I saw that didn't look my way and like crushed my heart. They're about all of the, fe the females that I probably passed growing up from zero to like 18. Crazy by Norris Barkley. I was in love with this girl that went to um, Malibu High. I saw her in a musical and I swear she was giving me the eye. Like I was in the audience and she was definitely giving me the eye. And I complimented her, I was like, you're so great. And she was like, thanks. She like gave me the eye and she made me feel crazy. And so every time I hear this song, I think of her. I remember when, when I lost my mind. I remember when, I remember, I remember when I lost my mind. That was like the only conversation we had. I've never seen her again, don't know where she is, but this is for you. Next song, Chop Suey by System of a Down. I 
remember listening to that song and being like, this is the craziest song I've ever listened to. I have no idea any of the lyrics. I don't even know what it's about, but I wanted to learn the drums and the drummer was insane. And so I remember bringing this song to my drum teacher and being like, I want to learn this. I never fully learned it because it's very difficult to play. I feel like my drummer now could do it, but I learned like the first like 30 seconds that I could play probably half speed of the song. I also just love listening to it in the green room like before show and just go <laughs> like this, something like that. So that's why it's important to me. I've got Just Like a Pill by Pink. I loved Pink growing up. I still love her. She is a dynamite woman. I remember growing up and thinking like, wow, she's so herself and she's so like honest and real and like badass. And I want to be like that. So she was a big inspiration for me, like in the pop world. When I listen to it, I feel like I'm going through what she's saying, even though I, I probably am not. I love the lyric, I haven't moved from the floor where you left me. Lying here on the floor where you left me. Yeah, Pink deserves to be up here. She's awesome. Ready to Start by Arcade Fire is literally my anthem song in life. When I'm like depressed or sad or lost or like, I don't know, just in a weird space, I listen to it and it just reminds me that you can always start again. When things get tough or things don't work out, you can always start again. And so I think Ready to Start is a really great lyric and also the feeling. I love Arcade Fire in general, like the funeral albums, one of my favorite, which Ready to Start isn't on, but it's just so visual. And then the feeling that you feel when you listen to Arcade Fire makes you feel like you're on a journey. And that's something that I've always wanted to have in my music. So Arcade Fire has been like a big inspiration for me always from the beginning. Okay, my last and final song is Everywhere by Michelle Branch. I know that you guys love Everywhere by Michelle Branch. Everyone loves Everywhere by Michelle Branch. It's a classic. A couple years ago, I literally spent my whole birthday just sitting on the beach with Marla and we listened to the spirit room, the whole album. But everywhere, every time I listen to it, my heart just goes like this. And then it goes like this. And I scream it on top of my lungs. Cause you're And it's the best song. And I grew up thinking she was a quarter Japanese, but I just Googled it and she's not. So I'm pretty upset about it, to be honest. <laughs> but I love you, Michelle. Can't wait to meet you. I feel like looking at this playlist as a whole really shows that I was kind of all over the place, but I loved pop music. I think that's very apparent. I love strong melodies. I feel like all of these songs minus like Chop Suey have been like a queer anthem to me at one point, whether it was gay or not. I made it gay because <laughs> I'm gay. They helped me through hard times and I think that that's why music is so important to all of us because we have these memories that get embedded into songs. Like, oh my gosh, I remember when I did this. This was, you know, when I graduated and it just like really helps keep those memories whole and like captures those feelings that, I don't know, sometimes you don't want to feel, but sometimes you do. I'm really happy that I got to share it with you guys. I feel like if I was on an island and, you know, deserted. I feel like I would pick Ready to Start by Arcade Fire because it would keep me going and remind me to not lose hope. I think that that's really important in music too, to like not lose hope and have that feeling that maybe someone can give you that strength when you don't have that strength for yourself. Thanks you guys for watching. This was the playlist of my life. Mwah.